Texas man is arrested for punching poll worker who told him to remove his MAGA hat. The Independent. T. Texas is one of 21 states that bans political apparel in or around voting locations. Below are your comments. When I was growing up, my parents considered voting a private thing, and they didn't share with the world who they were voting for. It just wasn't something you felt you had to advertise to everyone, primarily because it just inspe. I read disagreements, bad feelings and negativity. Is this what we've see more? As a lawyer, I've got to ask was it worth it? Let's think about the legal costs. If he uses a bail bondsman, the bail is 10% of the amount of the bond. In his case, he would be out $3,000 at a minimum just to get out of jail. He will need to hire a criminal defense attorney. Minimum retainer in Texas for his felony is typically $5,000. I haven't listed other costs as well such as loss of job, impound fees for the car getting impounded due to his arrest, and other fees imposed by the court for injury to the victim and court time. Was wearing the MAGA hat worth at least $8,000? For most people, the answer is no. The $8,000 could be spent elsewhere like on upcoming Xmas gifts. Just saying. No politicking inside the polling area. At least in a couple states I know of. That includes advertising on hats, shirts etc. That's the law. No talking about it either. If you can't follow the law then you should get removed and not be allowed to vote. Not difficult to. Understand. Regardless of who you support. We have the same law in Nebraska, but as a poll worker for many years now I can state that we haven. T had anyone who didn't comply with our request to remove or cover political garments. Hopefully it stays the same this year. It has always been a law in Texas, I have seen poll workers request people to do the same, it's not personal or political, it's simply a law. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.